Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just thought I'd come on and do a little bit of coloring. Today, I am going to be coloring this little cute rabbit. Um, Carolina Kubikowska, I think, or Kubikowski, or Kubikowska is the one who, she gave this free on her Facebook channel, or her Facebook. Um, so, I thought that I would work on this a little bit with you guys. I am using my ink tints and I just keep them in this little pink case here. Um, so yeah, I thought that I would work on this page a little bit. So for um, these leaves so far, I used um, apple green, which is uh, 1400. And then I used um, felt green 1530. Okay. So give me just a second here and we will get started. Give me just a sec. To get my stuff situated. So how's everyone? Hope everybody's doing good. I just thought I'd come on. I was going to color this anyway and I thought, well, I'll just come on and do film it and uh, work on it with you guys. If you have the page and um, you want to follow along, you can follow along. I'm also going to try to add a little bit of highlight areas. Uh, with this cadmium yellow and it's 0210 to the leaves. I'm just going to add some here and there. I don't know. Maybe I should use a lighter color. I don't know, but we'll see how it turns out. We shall see how it turns out. I thought this page was really cute and it was really nice of her to give it free. She gave this one and uh, one with a cupcake. So if you guys are interested and you're not part of her Facebook, maybe you should join and grab these pages. So like I said, she gives them free. I think it's really nice when the illustrators and artists do that. Give their images free. I'm just adding some of this here and there on these leaves to try to, and you know that it doesn't take much of uh, the ink tints, and the ink tints are permanent once they dry, so you cannot reactivate them with water. I think they're, what are they? What kind of, I don't know. I know they're ink, but. I was going to say India ink, but. I thought this page was so cute, though. The little baby rabbit, or the little child rabbit, and the mama. It's cute. So we got both of our vaccines. And so we're done with that. And I'm so thankful. My husband got really sick both times. I did not. I just had a sore arm. The first shot for me was worse than the second one. I think the second shot for him was worse. I think he was more sick with the second one. He had fever, uh, cold chills. His eyes were red, like bloodshot. Um, he was stuffy. Sounded like he had a cold. It was just strange. And... He had it for the rest of that day. We got him done like 11.30 that morning. Came home and... Um, or we, got him, we got him 11.30 one morning. The next day is when he got sick with his symptoms. And the same thing happened the first time. Only this time was a little worse, I think. But we went to bed the night uh, that he had his symptoms. Went to bed, woke up the next day, and he was fine. So, it's just strange how it affects people. Okay. 
So did anybody, did any of you get your shots? It looks like I didn't activate these yet. So let me get those activated real quick. And then I'll have to let them dry. Wrong brush. Make sure that the water's coming out here. Okay, let me get these activated. I want the Derwent Super Color pencils. Any of you guys have those? And if you do, do you like them? I would really like to have those from what I've seen. Those or the Albrecht Durr watercolor pencils. Yeah, those look really nice also. And I got my tax check back and I told myself that I was going to get myself something since, you know, you work hard all year, but I don't know if I'm going to or not, to be honest. I'd like for my husband and myself both to get, you know, a little something out of it because I don't want it to just sit in the savings and then just be dwindled away by little things here and there. I don't want that. I want to have something substantial. But the thing is, uh, he doesn't really have many hobbies, any hobbies that I know of. He used to until he got sick. Now he just doesn't. He can't do the things that he used to do, and he just doesn't have a whole lot of hobbies now. He used to, like, have his own little um, small engine repair business, and, but he can't do any of that stuff anymore since he got sick. It makes it hard on him. Yeah, I think this is going to look cute. Just go over it a little bit with my wet brush here. So how's everyone's weekend so far? Everyone doing good so far? We are doing good. Got to go out and see my friends that I have not seen since March of 2020 so that was fun we went out with my brother and our friends and had dinner or had, yeah had dinner and caught up and it was so much fun we have to do it again so fun. And I've been in my new position at my job for about, this will make my third week of doing it out of training on my own, so. It's way less stressful than my other position, but I still, I put too much pressure on myself. Because no matter how well I do, I always feel like I need to do better. And I don't like that I do that, but I think everyone does that. To an extent, let's get these leaves done. Sorry if you guys can hear my dog barking. She's outside in the back barking. It's nice out today. It's sunny. It's been nice the past few days, and I've been thankful because I don't, I can't, I'm not, I don't do well with, <coughs> sorry. With cloudy weather anymore and I used to love it rainy dreary days used to be my favorite but not anymore gotta keep getting that water out of here 
Come on. Squeeze it. There we go. I just kind of squeeze it out on my hand a little bit to make sure that it doesn't come out too fast. Yeah, we went out the other night for dinner. We went to have Mexican. I had a couple margaritas and I very, very, very rarely drink ever. But I just felt like I wanted to that night. It's been a rough past year and a half for everybody. So, it's all right. It's quite all right. <coughs> okay, and I did get out of the lines, but that's okay. I'll probably do some sort of a, whoops, some sort of a background on it. I might just do like, um, inks or like just splotchy like I might do um, oh oh my gosh what are they called the Tim Holtz distress inks I might do some of that or I might do pastels I don't know yet okay let's go over here and do the yellow on these Oh, it must not be dry yet. It's not wanting to go on too good. It'll be good enough, though. Okay. Leaves are done, pretty much. I might put a little bit of white highlight on there, but I don't know. We'll see. So, there's those colors. Got to be careful with this mat. I got this mat from Amazon. I love it. I think it's really pretty. I got this one and a turquoise one for my, um, got this one for my desk out front, and I got a turquoise one for my desk in my craft room. All right, now what color do I want to do her dress? Um, let's look at the swatch. Do you guys like using ink tints? I love it. It's fun. I might do <clears throat> her dress purple maybe I think I will kind of like up in here though I think I'm not going to go down into these deeper purples I could do the fuchsia it's kind of like a pinky color but that's fine and then maybe do the mauve for the shadows I really don't even have to put shadows in we'll see I'm going to start with the fuchsia though I think that is number 0700. Uh, where are you, Fuchsia? There you are. Okay. remember you get you don't have to use a whole lot I'm just going to color in the shaded areas mostly because you don't have to use a whole lot of this these ink tense pencils depending on how dark you want things though I guess would be See, like where the highlights and stuff are, I'm not even going to worry about coloring those in. And 
and we'll see how it turns out. I may end up making it a little darker <clears throat> in the shadowed areas. We'll see. Whoops. If you guys can hear that bird, that's my bird clock that I've had for probably 20 years, if not more. I'm a heavy-handed colorist also, which I wish I wasn't, but I try to make myself be a little more light-handed, but it's kind of hard to do when you're used to being one way and then try to change it. Okay, so we'll see what that looks like. Once I get it all activated, <clears throat> get this squirting water again here. Okay. See, you don't need, can you guys see that? You don't need a whole lot. And I'm using, um, I think it's, what paper am I using? The Nina, I think. Let me look. I am using, oh no, it's the Spring Hill paper that I'm using. I think it's 110 maybe pound. But I do have the Nina also. remember once this dries you cannot lift it so you'll want to make sure that you get it spread the way you want it before it dries And if you're wanting like um, lighter areas, you'll normally want to start in the light area and then work your way out to the dark for like the highlights and stuff. You can always add more once it dries, but you can't take it away once it dries. Mail just ran, so my dog hates the mailman. Every time she sees his truck, she goes nuts or sees him at the door. She always has to attack our packages when we get anything in the mail. If he brings it to the porch, she always wants to go out there on the porch after he leaves. 
So we let her out there and she goes out there and attacks the packages. I've got video of her doing it. And it's hilarious. It's like she's trying to save us from whatever's out there. papers warping but that's okay all I got to do usually is lay something heavy on there after it's dry and then or you can also take like a heat gun or a hair dryer and that also straighten it out So there we have her dress. I'll go over it and do a few things to it. And again, I used Fuchsia Zero. I think it's Zero Seven Hundred. Yes, ink tips. Okay. And then for him, I think it's a boy rabbit. I'm gonna make it a boy rabbit because it looks like he's wearing a little boy outfit. I'm going to make his a blue, I think. Maybe the iris blue. I think that's a pretty color right here. Yeah, I think I will. The iris blue. And that is number 0900. So let's find the iris blue in here. Okay. There it is. All right. I may, I don't know, I'm going to, because his pants are like they're separated. I may make his shirt a different color, but the pants are going to be blue. Like little blue jeans. He's so cute. And right now, the way I'm doing it, I'm just following mostly the lines that um, Carolina put in here for us. Or is it Carolina? It's either Carolina or Carolina. Either way, I love her, her art. I have her one of her other books. I think it's Ticket to Paradise is what I have. And I'd love to buy more, but shoot, by the time you pay shipping from Etsy, it, them coming from a different country, it's... 40 or $50 for one book, and I just can't do it. Can't see doing it. Okay, activation coming up. I started watching um, Grey's Anatomy last night. And that show is so good. I did not know it was as good as it is. And my brother and my friend <laughs> have been wanting me to start watching Bob's Burgers. So we also started that. And that's, that's funny. It's a really funny show. And um, there's a few that we're going to start. Schitt's Creek is one that we're going to start. Um, we, maybe Grace and Frankie and Grace, or Grace and Frankie, whatever that's called, we might start watching that also. And there was a couple more. We, um, finished good girls and we love that show so good so good and I also we finished tell me your secrets very good okay what color should I do his shirt should I 
Um, let's see. I don't know because, I mean, yellow maybe, like a, a white yellow, or maybe a different color blue. No, because I feel like I used the lightest blue on the pants, and I feel like the pants probably should have been the darkest. So I may just do it like a real... I don't know now. Let's see. I'm just going to do like sherbet linen. This color here. Zero one hundred. <clears throat> so I'm going to try that and see what it looks like. Here it is. Hopefully I don't ruin the page. We'll see. Please don't let me ruin this page because it's so cute. And I'm just going to do it like lightly. So there's going to be a lot of white left in it. So it's just going to be like a pale. A pale yellow. Okay, let's see what that looks like. <clears throat> Well, I guess there won't be a lot of white. Because, see, it doesn't take much. And I've used too much. Well, that's actually going to turn out cute. Yes, that looks cute. Yay. ahead and make this a little, a little bit yellow as well. Collar. And if you don't want to put, if you don't want to color it like a pencil, like a colored pencil, if you don't want to use it like a colored pencil, you can also just take the color off the pencil itself and put it on there. Or even rub it onto something like this. Pick that up and color it on. Very cute. That looks adorable. Okay, now, oh, I need to do her bow. I'm going to do it the same color as, yeah, I'm going to do her bow the same color as I did her, her dress. how that looks okay looking cute see and I kind of want it to look like it's antique or something or like just old I don't know because to me that's the vibe that I get from her artwork is it looks old, vintage -y. You know what? I'm going to do some of the roses or flowers or whatever, whatever they are, um, in that pink color, or the fuchsia. So I'm just using the fuchsia again for some of these flowers off to the side.
We like also like watching like the true crime stuff, things like that. And one that we um, like a lot is Web of Lies. And we also like to watch um, Fear Thy Neighbor. So if you guys like that kind of stuff, those two shows are excellent. <clears throat> I think I'm going to make her this, um, let's see, what do I want to use for her collar? Probably, like this antique white, uh, maybe I should try that and just see what happens. Because I don't know that any of these other colors is going to look. Right, so I'm going to try the antique white and just see what happens. I don't know. I mean, and it's um, number 2300. Okay, so we're just going to go over some of this. I wish I had... I wish there was like a gray, like a lighter gray, but there is not. I mean, I imagine you could probably make the dark grays be lighter just by adding a little bit, but no, no, I don't know. Okay, let's see what we can do with this. Let me wipe off the tip of my brush so I don't contaminate. looks all right you could probably mix a couple of colors too and make different colors that you want that aren't in the set yeah that'll work <clears throat> now I gotta figure out what I want to color the bunnies <coughs> excuse me Um, what color do I want to color them? Hmm. Brown, or do I want to color them a gray? Hmm. Probably. My goodness. I'll probably do them this color, or maybe even the willow. And just, yeah, I think I'll do the willow. 1900. And I'll see how I'm going to do that. 1900. Where are you? There you are. Nope, that's not you. There you are. Okay. Move this out of the way. And if it's too dark, I will... Um, well, right now I'm just going to add a little bit anyway, because I don't want it to be real dark. My husband, I think, is over there listening to the carpenters. Is that who that is? Mm -mm. Oh. Sounded like them. Is that were you listening to them? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just kind of going over like where it would show the little, where it shows like there would be little hairs, you know, like little clusters of hair, fur, hair, little clusters of fur. And we'll see how it turns out. We shall see. We shall see. I'm 
not even going to uh, name this the Simi Color Saturday because I haven't been consistent with it. I haven't been able to be because um, of working and trying to like learn the new stuff and everything, going through the training and everything. I just haven't had time to do much. She's going to need a little bit more. I totally forgot this ear. All right, now let's see what this looks like. <clears throat> <coughs> Sorry. All right, so remember, start in the lighter spots first and work your way to the darker areas. contradicting myself because I'm starting in the darker areas and going well not really it's still working out and I'm also gonna like um, take regular pencils or even like a fine liner and make little bushy hairs for <laughs> keep calling it hairs. So this is just gonna be like the base for the fur. Probably boring to some, but I figured I'd just come on and color because I was going to color it anyway. And I was sitting over there in my chair, and I thought, well, my husband's like, you should do a see me color Saturday, and I was like, I might get on there and color this since I was going to color it. Some water flowing in here. There we go. So I hope everyone is doing good. Anybody have any plans for the weekend? I start back to work tomorrow. I wonder if some are your guys' uh, favorite YouTube channels. I have a few. I really, really have been enjoying um, Elm Colors. And her name is Erica. I like her channel a lot. And I like um, Corey's channel, Colorfully Optimistic like her channel. I 
haven't been watching a whole lot more other than those two, really. I haven't had time. We've been busy beavers the last couple weeks. It's weird to like go off, go from being, you know, off work for a whole month and being able to color whenever and do whatever you want to working again 10 hours a day. It's hard to get back in the groove. I did babysit my or babysit dog sit my uh, brother's little dog for a few days. We watched him while my brother went to Nashville. And with my other brothers and sisters, some of them, not all. I have a pretty big family, so. Okay, so <clears throat> here she is so far, or here they are so far. Um, what else do I want to do? I'm going to have to do something with her cheeks and their little noses. Let's see, what color do I want to... Oh, there went one of my water brushes. I'm going to do her cheeks like the Carmine Pink 0520. <clears throat> and I'm just going to do a little bit. Same with their noses. Just a little bit. He's so cute. Look at that little nose. Okay, and I might go ahead and pull some of that into these flowers as well. And I need to pull some blue in, so I'm going to do some of the flowers in blue as well. This one in red. Okay, and then I'm going to bring back the iris blue, which is zero nine hundred, and I'm just going to color in some of these other little flowers just to bring some more of the blue in it's just in the one spot there so gotta bring in some more of that that's another thing I like about <clears throat> ink tints depending on the way that you want to color your pictures you don't have to be perfect when you're coloring it when you're using them and I like that. Okay. Now let's go over it. Do the red first. You can see there I'm starting in my dark, which I should not be doing. Practice what you preach. She's out there barking her head off. Crazy dog. Love her though. She is like our child. Spoiled to the core for sure. 
Do any of you all have pets? Dogs, cats, snakes, lizards, birds, anything? Hamsters, guinea pigs, I think guinea, oh no, I just dropped a bunch of water on there. I think guinea pigs are so cute. <clears throat> used to have pet rats back in the day and they um I had one named Decon and one named Snowball. They made very good pets. Believe it or not. They never ever bit and they were actually pretty clean animals or pretty clean pets. And they say that rats are one of the best pets that you can get for your children because they're so tolerant. I know ours were pretty good. There's a leaf right there, a piece of a leaf. Let me grab that. start with the blue Yep, I like to turn my page so that I can get, because my hands just don't turn in awkward, those awkward positions, so. But I turn my page so that I can get to certain areas. I don't know if I want to do inks for the background or if I want to do like, um, what are those called? Oh my gosh, I can't think of the name of them. They're like the crayons. Neocolor. Neocolor 2s. I don't know if I want to do those or um, inks or... Um, just splatter a little bit all over. <clears throat> Got a butterfly here. Maybe I should use yellow on the butterfly. Since I used yellow on his shirt and there's no yellow anywhere else, I could like outline it in yellow. And then use like just the tiniest bit of blue on the inside. Let's see how that goes. So we'll do the blue first for the inside. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna make for supper too. I don't know, it's already what, 1.30? 
Okay, so I'm a fan of all but the butterfly now. So, and that's okay. Nope, let me um, go up here. Lower these middles in. The ones that will let me anyway. <clears throat> I'm not sure about her thing there. I feel like it's kind of plain. I don't know. Now let me see what this yellow is going to look like once I... Okay, I think that's helping a little. Yeah, that looks prettier. I might put a little bit of stickles on him. And let me do his body. Like black cover. Fix their eyes. Okay, so there's that. I think that's all I'm going to do today. This video is way, way long. So you guys can just let me know what you think about it so far. And I may do the rest off camera. I don't know. I may come back on and do another video. But anyway, hope you guys liked this video. If you did, go ahead and please give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe if you have not done so already. I would love to have you as part of the channel. And you guys... Stay happy, stay safe, and happy coloring. Bye, y'all.